Today we're going to take a look at this smart GSAP button. You'll notice that when I roll over, that dark blue section comes in and then moves out. However, if I let it come fully in and then mouse leave, you'll see it continues moving all the way to the right. So with a quick enter leave, we get this sort of back and forth animation. But if it comes all the way in and then I leave, it moves out. For a quick look at the code, I'm starting off with a pause timeline and a variable called exit time. The first tween in my timeline just scales the bar up to its full size, and then we have an add pause where the timeline will stop. And then I'm going to set the exit time variable to whatever the current duration of the timeline is with this one single tween in here. So right now that would be an exit time of 0.5 seconds using the default tween times. The next part of the animation is sort of the leave part where the bar moves over 200 pixels to the right. Where the logic comes in is that whenever I'm doing a mouse leave, I'm going to see if the current time of the timeline is less than the exit time. That would mean the initial scaling in is still happening. If that is true, we're just gonna reverse the timeline back to the beginning, or else we'll tell the timeline to continue playing forward through the part where it moves off to the right. On enter, we have similar logic built in if the animation is already playing during that first tween, we're going to continue playing, or else if it's moving off to the right, we're just going to do a restart. Feel free to jump into this demo and explore these interactions further. I always like starting with basic examples so that you can use the same concepts with things that are a little bit more complicated. Woo! In here, you'll see the dots will come in or go out depending on when I mouse leave, but if all the dots come in, when I mouse leave, they do this fun animation out. Again, same basic concept, slightly different animation code. If you want to take your GSAP skills to the next level, come and join me at creativecodingclub.com.